new stuff has arrived. Helmet for a while and uh, spent out a little bit on this one. Then for the MIPS, so <clears throat> so word on the sizing uh, on the Fox website, it goes up to 59 centimeters on the medium, and and then the large starts from 59 centimeters. And my head was exactly 59 centimeters, so. I went for the medium initially, got it, got it home, tried it on. No, nah, it's it was so tight, it was jamming it on my head. So um, take the sizing chart with a bit of a pinch of salt. Fifty nine. If you're anywhere near fifty nine centimeters, you want a large. So I got the large back, and um, <clears throat> it's just lush. It's just lush. It really is. Let's have a look inside. So, as I said, the speed frame MIPS, and uh, inside you can see the uh, the MIPS layer there, which goes between uh, between the helmet and your head, and allows that dissipation of energy if you should crash. Um, the, uh, the pads are all. Ionic Plus coated in uh, some kind of silver incorporated stuff to stop bacteria growing, stop them going smelly. You do get two sets of pads instantly, which is cool. So you could wash one or replace it totally. Um, lots of pads, there's a pad all the way around the brim and one over the top. One over the top is particularly nice. And chunky, which is helpful for me not having much hair there for cushioning. You have the wheel adjustment at the back, which is a just a slidey forwards and back. And then you also have an adjustment here, which um, this lever here can pop out from the helmet, slide forwards and backwards, and then pop back in. A bit more adjustment. I think the visor's fixed, I'm not sure. We will find out. And um, yeah, it's just nice. It just feels nice and well made and reassuring. So, um, there you go. The Fidlock enclosure, which is just awesome. Ooh. It's nice, that Fidlock enclosure. Same people that make the, uh, the bottles that magnetically mount to your bike. You get them close and they just snap onto the, uh, the frame. It's cool. It's awesome. Let's uh, go to the bike park, try it out for um, comfort, not for impact protection, and um, let's go. Let's go have a ride. So, back from the right, and uh, it's awesome. The fit of the helmet is awesome. So much um, 
more snug on the head than my old helmet. The difference between this and the old one is just light and day. <clears throat> when I was riding down the bike park at one point, it completely slid forward over me. I like, ah, had to stop. And all I did for that was unclip this bit here. It comes out and it slides forwards and backwards and then clips in again to where you want. So you've got an adjustment there. You've got the wheel adjustment there. This is much better as well. This is fixed in place on my old helmet on here. You can actually move it to where you want it, forward and backwards on the helmet. The visor is fixed. I wasn't sure if it was, but the visor is fixed in place. Yeah, it's fine. Did its job. And um, it was just really comfy. It didn't fall off. Really, really good. The, uh, <coughs> the Fidlock enclosure was superb. Jumping in and out of the uplift bus, on and off, on and off. Helmet, on and off, no problems at all. Done. Shake test. <laughs> it's just a really good helmet. I massively recommend it. And uh, it's awesome. Thumbs up. If you did like the video, uh, I'll be eternally grateful if you subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Because um, when you get more subscribers, YouTube lets you do more stuff with the channel. And I'm kind of limited at the moment with a few that I've got. Uh, it's always going to be a bit of fun, this, for me. It's not going to be a job. Um, so it's, uh, I'll be forever in your debt if you would just uh, click that. Whee!